hello and welcome to today's video so today's video is the last part of the three part series i started two videos ago in the first part i showed how to cut a palazzo pant and in the second part i showed how to sew a palazzo pant and in this part i will show how to cut and sew a kimono top just like the one displayed Please, if you missed out on the first part and the second part, I will drop the link in the description box of this video. So please kindly check them out if you have not watched the parts. So displayed also are the measurements I will use in making today's kimono top. So let's get into the video. So I have folded my fabric into two, the front part into two, the back part into two, that is four. I'm cutting the front and the back together and I've drawn out all the necessary vertical lines, the shoulder line, the chest line, the waist line, the hip line and the length of the top which is 35 inches plus extra one and a half inches for hemming. So on the shoulder line I'm taking the 3 inches, 8 inches standard for shoulder slope and from the 8 inches point I came down by 1 inch and I'm connecting to the 3 inches point I noted before to get my shoulder slope. Then also on the shoulder line I am going to take half of my across back, half of my shoulder measurement which is 8.5. I will also impute this 8.5 on my chest line. So I'm taking 8.5 on the shoulder line. And then I'll also take that same measurement on my chest line. So I will draw a line running from the shoulder line to the 8.5 inches I have on the chest line. I'll then impute quarter of my bust measurements plus extra one inch for ease. My bust measurement, quarter of my bust measurement is 9.5 plus extra one inch for ease, making it 10.5. Then for my armhole, I will measure the vertical line running from the shoulder slope to the chest line. I will get the middle of that and from the middle, I will come in by half an inch for the front armhole and then I'll connect from the chest line to the half inch I came in by and then to the shoulder slope this would form the front armhole then for the back armhole I'll just connect from the chest line to the middle without coming in so the part where I came in is the front armhole and the part where I just drew from the vertical line is the back armhole I'm also taking one inch for my seam allowance then on the waistline, I would impute quarter of my waist measurement plus extra one inch for ease as well. And I'll also take one inch seam allowance. On the hip line also, I will take quarter of my hip measurement plus extra one inch for ease. I'll take extra one inch for ease and then one inch seam allowance. Then on the length of the top, I would impute what I have, exactly what I have on my hip measurement. So the measurement I have on my hip measurement will be what I would impute at the hem of the top. So now I connect the measurement from the chest line to the waist line. And from the waist line, I will connect to the hip line using a curve rule. And then... From the hip line, I'll connect to the hem of the top. I'll connect from the hip line to the hem of the top. So after connecting what I will now do will be to draw out the neckline. What I will do first will be to draw out the neckline for the back. For the back, I'm taking a neck depth of 1 inch and the neck width for both the front and the back is 3 inches. So I'm connecting for the neck, for the neckline. And then I'm taking half inch on the shoulder for shoulder joining allowance. And I'll connect together. Then 
after doing this i'll have to cut out the top but before then as i always do i would recheck my measurements to make sure that it is correct and complete and then i'll go ahead and cut out the top So while cutting, I'll cut out the back armhole first and also the back neckline. Then I'll separate the two to then cut out for the front part, the neckline and also the armhole for the front. So for this top, the front will be split open, the front will be open and the back is not open. That's why there's no zip allowance at the back so now i will have to cut the neckline for the front but before then i'll trim out the armhole for the front i'll trim out the armhole for the front then for the neckline what i will do will be to measure i'll use the chest line as a reference point from the chest line i would come in on the chest line i'll come in by three quarter of an inch that was how open i want it to be on the chest then i could decide to connect straight to the waist or come up by some inches so i'll come up by one and half inches i'll come up by one and half inches or two inches i'll make it um two inches i'll come up by two inches from the waistline so i'll come up by two inches from the waistline and that's where the neckline would stop so with a straight rule i'll connect from the shoulder to the three and three quarter inch i came in by on the chest line and then i'll use my armhole curve to make a curve from the two inches i came up by from the waist to the chest line so i connected from the shoulder to the chest line and then to the two inches i came up by so I'll cut that out as my neckline and then I'll split open the remaining part of the front uh, part of the kimono top. So I'll cut out, this is my neckline for the front, then I'll split open the remaining parts from the hem to the point that is still closed. I'll split that open. Please, as you're watching, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe, click on the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. So I have cut out the front and the back. So this is what I have. I'm going to place the front on top of the back to show you what I have. So I'm placing right sides facing each other. The right sides facing each other. So what I'll do now will be to join on the shoulder. I'll join both the front and the back on the shoulder using the half inches seam allowance I left for it. I have half inch joining allowance for the shoulder so I'll join them together by the shoulder using half inch seam allowance. So I have joined the front and the back together by the shoulder. I have joined them together. I also ironed the seam open. So the next thing I will do now will be to measure from the center back. I'll measure from the center back. I would measure to one side of the front, the opening in front. I would take note of what I have. I'll measure up to the hem part and I have about 41 inches. So I will cut double of that, which is 82 inches on another fabric. So I used this flowery fabric and I've cut a length of at least 82 inches. And on fold, I have two and a half inches. Open, I have five inches. So I, I also ironed interfacing on this fabric I just cut out. And I'll be attaching it on the neck from the back to the open part in front. So I will open up my fabric. And I also fold this flowery fabric into two. So from the center of this fabric, I will start pinning on the neckline from the center back. I will pin from the center back, right sides facing each other. I will pin 
on the right side of the kimono top so that is how i'll pin i would arrange them and pin from the center back neckline down to one end of the front to the hem and then i'll pin to the other side as well so after pinning all together i will then go to the sewing machine and join them together using half inch seam allowance i will sew all along and after sewing i'll then top stitch towards the attached fabric i'll top stitch towards the attached fabric so i have already done that i have sewn this fabric the flowery fabric to the kimono the neckline so the next thing now will be to hold them together the front and the back by the side using the one inch size seam allowance i left i'll join the two sides together i'll sew them together on both sides so i have done that i've joined them together the front and the back so all that is now left is to attach the sleeve to the kimono so i've gone ahead to cut out my sleeve using a short sleeve pattern i already have on the on this channel and i'll drop the link in the description box and i also made an attachment of the flowery fabric to the sleeve as well and the width of this attachment is about 1.5 inches i attached it the same way i attached the at um, flowery fabric on the kimono itself i also top stitched so i would join the sleeve down to the kimono i would close this the side seam of the sleeve using one inch seam allowance and then attach it to the kimono i'll also hem the lower part i'll fold in two times and so using the one and a half inches i left for hemming and so this is what i have i've made i've joined everything so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel also click on the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a new video thank you